More than 8 million people from the Carolinas to the Mid-Atlantic are under storm alerts as tropical storm Ophelia lashes the East Coast today. Now, Ophelia just made landfall minutes ago near Emerald Isle, North Carolina, bringing potentially damaging winds, life-threatening flash flooding, and dangerous storm surge that could reach five feet. Right now, Ophelia is 25 miles south of Cape Lookout, North Carolina, packing maximum sustained winds of 70 miles an hour. For more on the storm's track and the rest of the forecast across the country, here's meteorologist Kelly Cass with our partners at the Weather Channel. Kelly, good morning. Yes, good morning. All eyes on Ophelia as it slams into the east coast and eventually treks up into the northeast by tonight and tomorrow. So millions of you being impacted by this high end tropical storm and even after landfall this morning, we're going to see a lot of impact still for the coastline with surge warnings in effect. And of course, you've got those hurricane force gusts that are going to be possible with this system. There's the cone showing the center of Ophelia, eventually moving inland across areas of North Carolina, Virginia, up toward the Delmarva, losing tropical characteristics by tonight, but not losing tropical moisture. There will be heavy rain to come down with Ophelia, even the possibility of some severe weather, including isolated tornadoes with any one of these rain bands circling in around the center of Ophelia as it tracks northward throughout today. It's going to be reaching the Hudson Valley by later on tonight, so the northeast, Certainly seeing the impacts as we head into the second half of the weekend. Rain going sideways. Flooding is going to be a possibility, not just from the rain, but of course the storm surge, depending on which way the wind is blowing. So here is a look at the wind. You can see it's going to be strongest this morning as it makes that landfall. And then eventually we will see those winds die down as Ophelia eventually moves out by tomorrow. And for more in-depth coverage all day long, you can watch the Weather Channel on cable or live on your favorite TV streaming devices. Jeff, back to you. Kelly, thank you very much.